Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve a problem based on homogeneous differential equation of Euler type. It is also known as the Cauchy Euler type. Here, we have to give substitution for converting this homogeneous differential equation of variable coefficient to the constant coefficient. Our substitution is x is equal to e per z. Then z will be log x and we have a result where x into d is d dash and x square d square is d dash into d dash minus 1. We are going to substitute this. The first term will be d dash into d dash minus 1 plus 4 into d dash plus 2 into y equal to log x. Now, this is d dash square minus d dash plus 4 d dash plus 2 into y equal to log x. Again, the first term is d dash square and second term is combining these two, we get 3 d dash and last term is 2 into y equal to log x. Now we have to write the auxiliary equation but before that even this should be substituted as z because z is log x. So on the other side we have to write this as z. Now coming to the auxiliary equation m square plus 3m plus 2 equal to 0 so when I factorize it is m plus 1 into m plus 2 equal to 0. So m is equal to minus 1 and minus 2. So we got two values. Using this we have to write the complementary function which is c1 e power minus z plus c2 e power minus 2z. This can be written as c1 e power z whole power minus 1 plus c2 e power z whole power minus 2 because e power z is x. So let's replace that in terms of x. So c1 x power minus 1 is 1 by x. Similarly c2 x power minus 2 is 1 by x square. So finally our complementary function is nothing but c1 by x plus c2 by x square. Coming to a particular integral, we have z whole divided by, we have to write this quadratic expression d dash square plus 3d dash plus 2. d dash square plus 3d dash plus 2. Now we have to take two common from the denominator. So it will become d dash square plus 3d dash by 2 plus 1. We have to carry this term to the numerator. So 1 by 2 z into 1 plus d dash square plus 3d dash by 2 whole power minus 1. Now we have to expand this using 1 plus x whole power minus 1 formula which is 1 minus x plus x square minus x cube plus dot dot dot. So this will become 1 by 2 z bracket open 1 minus x. So minus d dash square plus 3 d dash by 2. All the other higher powers we can ignore because we have only z which is differentiable once. So 1 by 2 let's multiply z inside. So first term 1 into z is z. When you multiply with d dash square, twice differential becomes 0. The next we have minus 3 by 2 into d dash into z is differentiation of z once. That is 1. So finally, this 1 by 2 we can multiply inside. So z by 2 minus 3 by 4. Z is nothing but log x. So log x by 2 minus 3 by 4. Now, let's write the complete solution, which is cf 
plus ei so y equal to we had c1 by x plus c2 by x square then coming to the particular integral after this which is nothing but plus log x by 2 minus 3 by 4 so we got the answer but in the question we gave a condition when x is 1 y is 0 and dy by dx is 0 so let's substitute this to find the constant so let's take the first condition when x is 1 y is 0 so 0 equal to c1 when i put 1 here it is only c1 when i put 1 here it is become c2 log 1 is 0 and we get minus 3 by 4 so c1 plus c2 equal to 3 by 4 it is one equation so let's name this as 1 now let's take the another condition when x is 1 dy by dx is 0 so we have to find its derivative that is dy by dx equal to c1 by x is minus c1 by x square c2 by x square is minus 2c2 by x cube and differentiation of log x is 1 by x and already there is 2 so 1 by 2x and constant is 0 so here we are going to use the condition when x equal to 1 dy by dx become 0 so 0 equal to minus c1 minus 2c2 plus 1 by 2 because x is 1 let's carry these two terms to the other side so we get c1 plus 2c2 equal to 1 by 2 let's take this as the second equation now we have to solve first and second let's subtract so when i subtract c1 and c2 will get cancelled now c2 minus 2c2 so solving 1 and 2 let's write the equation together c1 plus c2 equal to 3 by 4 so c1 plus c2 equal to 3 by 4 c1 plus 2c2 equal to 1 by 2 on solving this we have to subtract that is changing the sign of all the second term so the first term c1 minus c1 will get cancelled then c2 minus 2c2 is minus c2 which is equal to 3 by 4 minus 1 by 2 so from this minus c2 equal to let's take lcm which is 4 so 3 minus so to make common denominator we have to put into 2 3 minus 2 so c2 equal to this is 1 by 4 and i carry the minus sign here so minus 1 by 4 using the c2 in the first equation we get c1 minus 1 by 4 equal to 3 by 4 so let's carry this to the other side so c1 is equal to 3 by 4 plus 1 by 4 4 by 4 which is 1 so we got c1 and c2 and we have to substitute that here so c1 by x so y equal to c1 by x 1 by x because c1 is 1 then second term is c2 by x square so c2 is minus 1 by 4 so minus 1 by 4 x square then we have log x by 2 minus 3 by 4 plus log x by 2 minus 3 by 4 